Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Wiles and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite emulator for each modern console. What I mean by modern consoles is any newer gen Xbox, Playstation, or Nintendo systems. Now before we get into the details here, I just want to say that since these emulators are for newer consoles, that means it's probably still going to be some time before these emulators are flawless. A lot of games may have issues when playing, and some may not even play at all. It's important to keep that in mind during this video. Anyways, enough rambling, let's get right into this. Alright, so we're going to be starting this off with Nintendo, and the most modern emulator for that is actually up to you. Yuzu and Ryujinx are the two leading Nintendo Switch emulators, and which one is better for you is entirely up to what games you're wanting to play. Each emulator supports mostly different games. For example, if you're interested in playing Smash Bros Ultimate or Mario Maker 2, Yuzu is right for you. But if you're more into games such as Animal Crossing or Super Mario Odyssey, Ryujinx would be the better fit. Both emulators have their strengths and weaknesses, but they're pretty similar at the end of the day. I've left tutorial links for each Yuzu and Ryujinx in the description below. Moving on to Xbox, the most modern emulator is currently still for the Xbox 360. The Xbox One may be almost 7 years old, but it's proven to be hard to emulate. I'm sure something will pop up in the next few years, but for now we have a very solid 360 emulator in Xenia. Xenia has been around for a while, but has really improved in the last couple years, making classics like Halo Reach and COD Black Ops playable on your PC. It's open source too, which gives the emulator pros more wiggle room for tweaking and performance improvements. However, it is a good amount harder to set up than most of the emulators out there these days. It shouldn't be anything impossible though. I've left the Xenia tutorial link in the description for those interested. Next up, we got PlayStation, which is kind of trickier since there technically are like two emulators for the PS4, but they're both extremely early in development, like I'm talking play no games early. So for that reason, I gotta go with RPCS3 here. It's a fantastic PlayStation 3 emulator, and if I'm being honest, it's probably the best made emulator in this video. I mean, over half the PS3 library is fully playable on it. If that's not impressive, I don't know what is. Some bigger PlayStation exclusives you can play are the God of War Collection and the Persona series. It's an easy installation you can do yourself, again at the link in the description below. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if I did just help you kill your quarantine boredom a little bit then please drop a like on this video. If you're new, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Wiles out.